obviously, the next phase of things is to start working on the cabin. Is it now? <laughs> there it is. There is the new rig. Open. Okay. Here it is. Bleaker beige. Standard ugly finishings. 2008, but hey. This should be spacious enough to fit us all, is the plan. Nice big fridge. Big bathroom. Not that we need the big bathroom, but that's just the way it, the way it is. Oh, I can make bread. It smells a little. It really smells like it needs some refreshing. Hi. Welcome to our new little home. I hate the inside of it. It's so ugly. So I'm gonna redo the inside. I'm not gonna do that this year because I just have too many things obviously on my plate. I can barely keep up to all the stuff I'm doing as it is now, but I kind of, I wanna do this camper up a little bit nicer. Like just change, like the walls, like it's just like this ugly brown and not my style. Like why do they have to make it so ugly? That's gonna be something I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna really tackle too much this year, except that I'm gonna work in the bed space. There's this storage thing underneath the mattress, and we're gonna get rid of that, just because we're gonna make space up beside the bed for one or two dogs to sleep, and then two dogs can probably sleep here, or even one on the floor on a dog bed. Our world revolves around what is best for the dogs. Yeah, I'm like super pumped about it. We are going on a mountain bike trip in July, Anyway, that'll be fun. And of course, of course we'll take you guys along. So we would like tour to BC. We go up north a little bit and then head to the coast. We'll go cross a ferry to a little island somewhere. And yeah, it'll be fun. <sighs> oh my. Gosh. Hi, Riley. Hi, Riley. Oh, you're a nice little black dog. You're just a nice little black dog, Riley. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you don't know what we're doing? Oh. We're just rebuilding a $30,000 camper, that's all. No big deal. Michelle, Michelle, hi, come on in. Michelle, hi, <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Lexi, some call me Sexy Lexi, but that depends on what time of day I'm booking appointments. You can call me Lexi. <sighs> Thank you, hi, Lexi, nice to meet you. Thank you for getting me in so quickly. So tell me, what brings you in today? Yeah, gosh, where to start? So let me just say, you know, my husband and I, you know, we love adventures, we love mountain biking, we love our dogs, our dogs love mountain biking, and we love to do things together with our dogs that are fun and adventurous. So in 2019, we bought an old truck camper, a cheap old truck camper, not knowing it had a leak. It had a big leak. Um, the whole front end of it was rotten and I had to spend the majority of my summer in 2019 gutting that camper and rebuilding it. And it turned into this beautiful, adorable, perfect little space for us while we had three dogs. We now have four dogs, so we have just simply outgrown that camper. We recently sold it and set out on a mission to find something more suitable for us in terms of size. We had initially been dead set on getting a trailer and long story short, went to Alberta, looked at a few. They weren't um, what we thought they were. We just weren't feeling like they were the right thing for us and ended up deciding to go back 
to getting a camper. Um, but we just knew that we needed a bigger one that could fit us all. So we needed a longer one and we looked at one with a slide. So those two things combined would give us the perfect space for two people and four dogs. We found a camper for sale uh, that suited our needs and we were lied to. The people lied to us and they told us that it didn't leak and that there was no problems with it at all. So <laughs> there was sort of a smell in here and it's a good thing. I started to, when, I, when I looked at this camper, I tried to look at all the spaces. I mean, we paid a lot of money for this, so it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, whether they knew that it was like this or not, but I say that for everyone. But somewhere, this is leak. Something is leaking. Oh. This this corner, something is going on. So there's black mold in there, which explains. Like I can smell something. I was I was like, I got a good nose for this kind of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and figure out what the f is going on. I'll have to take all that off. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This is just what I didn't want. Just what I didn't want was to have to friggin' tear a camper apart again. Funny you don't want to save these. No, this is a particle board. It's all, Look, it's all rotten. Well, we're getting rid of the carpet anyway, so it's going to come out. Then we mean you got to take all this out, this whole yeah. thing. Well, then that's what has to be, my love. I did this before, and it was good in the end because I did it properly. Okay. I'm not half-assing this. I'm kind of pissed off now that, you know, that, fuck. Should have known. Yeah. I was going to say, I didn't mind spending a little bit of money to get a really good one. I don't know if they do all that work, but now we do have to spend a lot of money and we have to do all the work. Fuck. This is really disappointing. We paid... This is why we bought this camper, one that didn't have a front window. And, you know, it's a 2008, which is relatively new for a camper. I mean, there aren't that many newer ones even on the market for sale. But we bought it being like, okay, at least this isn't going to be something we're going to have to, like tear apart and renovate but that's exactly what we have to do they did make steve sign a bill of sale that said to be sold as is and all these little things in hindsight um, are red flags but at the time we didn't know that they were well-to-do people it seemed very nice friendly and they watched steve drive away with a camper that is half rotten and we paid a lot of money for it. We're going to tear the whole floor out and tear out. I'm going to take that mirror off and tear all that stuff out. I mean, we really just have to, to rip it down to what we can see and remove as much mold as possible and try and fix whatever leak we can see. I don't, the problem is, is we don't know where it's leaking from. Things look fine, which is the scary part. So yeah, this is like, now this is the priority and this is one, isn't what I wanted to be doing right now, but we do want to go on a trip in July because Hannah's cancer is not better. Her tumor hasn't shrunk. So we're wanting to make the best of the time that we've got with Hannah and the rest of the dogs. So <laughs> this has now become the priority and I'm sad. Anyway, time to get to work. So it's been quite a shocking week, I would say. Um, not at all what I was hoping would be the case, um, but here we are. And we are stuck now with a $28,000 camper that is no good to us right now. And we have to rebuild it. We have to rebuild it. So all I had said to Steve was, if that's what you really want, then that's what we'll get. I don't really care what we get, as long as we can fit in it, and as long as I don't have to spend my summer gutting and rebuilding a camper.
that's the gist of the story. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. And now we are stuck with having probably paid the most amount of money to have the camper in the worst shape out of all the ones that we probably looked at. You haven't cried over this, have you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. You doing okay, are you? I'm feeling really good. Very positive right now. Good. Boy. Well, I mean, the good thing is fiberglassing the base here would be totally fine. That would structurally make it stronger. All right, so well, what's the plan? Well, I got to get all the protective stuff for tomorrow. I got to get bowls that I can mix the fiberglass in. Do you I'm want just, bowls here? No, the plastic will fall apart. The resin and hardener will just disintegrate. You need a special bowl. I had to get gloves and masks, stuff like that. It's dirty job. But, uh, and lots of paint brushes. So acetone. And acetone to clean everything. Yeah. I need the paint and brushes to brush the resin into the fiberglass mat. And I'm gonna, I think I'll do two layers, that should be enough. I've got three gallons of resin, I might need more, but we'll, we'll see how far this can go. RV restoration specialists, call now. <laughs> Steve, the fiberglass expert. I built this fiberglass boat back in 1981. Edelweiss. Yeah. Where'd you get those scissors? Uh, not the that store. portions. <laughs> Perfection by Steve. Have you laid the second mat down? Doing it now. second layer. I, um, Steve did uh, the first layer of this today, but I was at work, so I didn't, Steve doesn't know how to work the camera, so. So the fiberglass, because we couldn't get any of this wood off, because it's not like an aluminum camper, this wood, this little piece of plywood is attached to the vinyl on the outside. So, is fiberglassing it and that will completely get, pass that one? get rid of the mold and strengthen the structure. Right? Yep. This is what he tells me anyway. Good job, Steve. Yeah. Good. Now we're gonna hurry up and do this one. Fiberglass. Second layer of fiberglass. Steve, show me how strong it is. Really strong. So what is the plan? Well, this is the thing. We had a trip planned in July uh, to go mountain biking with the new camper and the dogs. 
I know for sure that because we both work, uh, we can't work at this camper full time. Therefore, we will not be able to get it finished before our trip. So we're just not sure. It's overwhelming. It's been super stressful trying to think of how I'm going to be able to get this camper done in time. So we've just been kind of trying to think of other options. So while this is certainly a very unfortunate situation, I mean, it, it sucks. I do think that, Michelle, it's important to remember that it's just a camper. It's just money. Tomorrow, the sun will still come up, unless it rains. You have a beautiful family, a loving husband, a comfortable home, a roof over your head. No one is shooting at you and trying to kill you every day. And there are many people in the world that wished they had your problem, but yet they have something bigger. So it's all about perspective and it's good to remember that someone else out there, many other people out there, have it much worse than you do, right? I know. You're right. <laughs> That's not how I cry. Is it now? <laughs> you lying son of a gun. I do have some time off this summer, some stretches of time off. So the cabin build is still gonna be happening and come hell or high water, I'm building that cabin, don't worry. I think I'm probably more upset about it than you guys are, but anyway, I just wanted to clarify. Look at how tired I look. I'm losing sleep over this. Barely get to sleep. 